Hello beautiful family, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making coconut oil for our cooking, frying, baking and so many other things. If you've been following up with my videos, you will know that I have been using extra virgin olive oil ever since. Yes, yeah, so what inspired me in making my own oil, healthy oil at home is that number one, olive oil is extremely expensive now and i saw one video online that not even all of them are processed for like 90% uh, of them are not real virgin olive oil so i decided to make my own healthy oil at home for cooking okay let's get started so i got my 20 pieces of matured coconut i got this at the rate of 9005 9, something let's just say 95 so i'll start by breaking and removing the pack So at this point, you have to be very, very careful if you are doing this because I almost injured myself here. So it's better you use a, a knife that is not that sharp or you use this method that I'm using now with my uh, towel. I just have to hold the coconut so that if mistakenly I should uh, if mistakenly the knife should misplace with the gain one, gain one, I will not uh, injure my hand. So this was how I removed the whole back. So it's time to wash. So I washed everything thoroughly till I get a clean water. here i was done washing it's time to cut see here guys this was not easy at all <laughs> but trust me it's worth it because now extra veggie only boy is 22,000 something but this was not up to 10,000 then plus the stress and every other things you get so i think it's worth it one you'll be eating using the healthy oil that you know how it was processed so you got it at a cheaper rate so here i was done blending with my blender and then sieving it with my juicer you can make it of your silk cloth so i have a video on how to make my coconut meal because this is also the process of making coconut meal so i will share the link on the description box so when i'm done blending and sieving i'll be keeping it aside to ferment for two days because i want to make this coconut oil using fermentation process fermentation process is like putting it outside on a room temperature for two to three days and allow it to ferment before in your coconut oil out from it so i will still show you guys the other methods of making coconut oil but on this video we'll be using fermentation process so this was how it was looking on the second day mine was looking like this because few of the coconuts i used were bad if you are using this process make sure your coconuts are good but i was like since it's for oil i can't waste my coconut too so that's why i blended everything together on that second day i have to keep it in my fridge for another extra one day so that the water will separate itself from the oil and the cold so this was how it looked when i brought it out on on the third day so it's time to cook on a low heat to separate the oil from the cold then make sure you stay around stir and stir so at the point i started seeing the oil then i scooped it out so when i see the oil i'll scoop it out I see the oil and scoop it out so i use this same process until i extracted all the whole oil from it so you you scoop out the oil you stir 
you wait for another oil to come up you get so this is how it went from that to this and see what is going on So this was the final stage when I have cooked everything, the whole oil has been extracted. So I need to squeeze out more oil from this pot. So this was the oil I got at the end of the whole cooking. I have to sieve it out so that the so that if there's any any particles it will not penetrate. When I'm done, it's time to cook it to extract any extra water in the oil. So this was the that last shaft, last cord. I extracted more oil from it using my seals or seal glue. So when I was done cooking to extract to make the whole water in it evaporate, this was the end result. You have to allow the oil to cool down before pouring it in your in your bottle. So on the process of trying to pour it in my bottle, I disfigured my sieve. So I had to use my seal clothes. This was the end result, guys. I got more than one liter of coconut oil. Like this uh, bottle here was the old bottle of the extra virgin olive oil I bought before I got it at the rate of either 9,000 something. Yes, 9,000 something. But now it's been sold at the rate of 22,000 something. Still this same, still this one liter of uh, extra virgin olive oil. You see, I got more than one liter of coconut oil from 9,500 Naira coconut. So I think uh, this process and this method was far more better for me. It was cheaper and more healthier, though it was stressful. But believe me, it was the stress. So this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you do, give this video a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.